So hello and welcome to another HTML5 animated banner tutorial in uh, Adobe Animate. And uh, right now, as always, I will show you what we are going to be doing today. Uh, so as you can see, uh, there is a possibility that uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit longer, but uh, yeah, stay with me. Uh, so right now I'm on the site Prepeak and I'm going to provide you a link in the description for this file. Uh, but I'm also going to provide you my Illustrator file that right now I'm going to create. And uh, probably I will also provide you my Adobe Animate file, uh, the initial Animate file, uh, where I have renamed all of the layers. Because I'm going to skip that part of naming layers and we are going to have a lot of layers. So basically right now I'm going to click download, I will go with click download and I'm going to uh, save a zip file, I already did it and uh, right now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose extract here. Uh, right now I'm going to have this EPOS file and I'm going to double click and it is going to open me this uh, in the illustrator and I'm going to just click no if, it, if I'm going to have something like that. Uh, so right now what I want to do uh, is uh, I'm going to create a new document, so I'm going to hit Ctrl N, or you can go File, New, and I will go with 800 by 800, and I'm going to click Create. And now what I can do is, if I click in here, uh, I'm going to have this, uh, this uh, separated. Uh, but what I can do is I can select everything like so, and I'm going to position it uh, to the new document like so, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to scale this, so I'm going to go with Shift and Alt to go from the center, and I'm going to do something like this. Uh, you do not need to duplicate this uh, document and create it in the new document, but I would like to, I don't want to mess with this one, I want to have this as it is, uh, in case that I'm going to uh, mess it somehow. So I'm going to have something like this, and uh, right now I will have to... I will have to uh, separate them to the to the individual layers. Uh, so right now I have everything in the layer one, and if I click uh, this arrow, I am going to have something like uh, something like this. Uh, so right now let me let me try maybe with this uh, hand, and I am going to click on this hand, and this hand is going to be grouped together with this coin. So I am going to ungroup this. I am going to right click, and I am going to choose ungroup. And uh, right now I am going to have the coin separated, uh, but I am going to have uh, two parts parts of the hand. And uh, basically I am going to right now uh, dupli uh, group the hand together. So I will click in, in here and I am going to with shift click in here and I am going to hit Ctrl G. Uh, right now uh, maybe you have noticed there is the, this finger uh, which was uh, before uh, behind the coin. Right now it is uh, about the coin. I can go back and show you. So it was, uh, it was like this. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is... Uh, uh, we are not going to be bothered about that because that is a uh, very little detail. Uh, so right now I have I have my hand group together. Uh, this uh, this cloud is uh, alone. This one also. I will click on the background and I'm going to lock the background like so, so I won't be able to move it. And right now I will try to uh, click on the house and I will try to move the house and house is grouped together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose ungroup. And right now we are going to have all of these separated parts. So I will try to click on this one, this bottom part, uh, with shift on this one, uh, this shadow and uh, the roof like so. And right now I will try to move it to make sure that I have everything that I wanted. And uh, yeah, so I want everything except uh, these uh, three parts. And I will go back and I'm going to hit Ctrl G like, like so. Uh, but right now I will have to go to my layers and position my house uh, below the door and window like so. Uh, but this one, uh, this one I want to position uh, like so behind like this. And I, uh, right now I have my uh, door uh, separated, my window separated, the house separated, and this part we have separated. Uh, but in here we, we will have to click like so. We have three parts. I will try to move it, uh, whether I have everything I have, and I am going to hit Ctrl G, uh, Ctrl G, or you can right click and choose group. And right now I will have to one more time position it below the house like so. 
Uh, now this uh, fence, I am going to click in here and I have uh, this separated and this separated. So what I can do is click in here and with shift click in here and I am going to hit control G like so. And uh, these uh, hills, I am going to uh, group them together. So uh, one by one, I am going to click like so until I am going to have all of them and I am going to hit control G. Uh, so right now, uh, probably I'm going to have everything as I as I want it. Uh, with uh, I'm going to get rid of these uh, stars because I'm not going to be using them. So I'm going to delete it like so. And also in here is a star and I'm going to delete it like so because I don't want to have it. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is uh, I will close the layer one like so and I'm going to click it. I will go to these uh, three lines and I'm going to choose uh, release two layers like so. And right now I'm going to select everything and drag it outside of the layer one. Uh, layer one is now going to be empty so I'm going to delete it like so. And right now uh, I want to just uh, check whether uh, I have everything as, as I want it. So one by one I'm going to hide these layers. So we have this coin. Uh, we have this uh, hand, we have this coin, uh, then we have uh, the, the grass, because grass is like, uh, we have this uh, part, uh, which is in front of the ha house, and this part, which is behind the house. So we cannot group this together, because if I want group this like so, control G, we would have something like this. So basically, we need to have, you can go ahead and get rid of this, like so, it's not necessary to have it, uh, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to keep it, uh, I'm going to stay with this. So we have that, uh, then we have uh, these pens, then we have one cloud, then we have uh, the second cloud, then we have the window, then we have a door, uh, then we have the house, uh, then we have this one, uh, then we have uh, the grass, which is behind, uh, like so. Uh, then we have uh, these hills, and then we have the background. Uh, so right now I am going to save this illustrator file and I am going to provide you this illustrator file and I will see you in Adobe Animate in few seconds. Uh, so right now I am in the Adobe Animate and I will go with 800 by 800 same as in the Illustrator. I want to have a frame rate as it is and I want to have HTML5 canvas so I am just going to hit create and I will go to the place where I have uh, saved my Illustrator file. Uh, it is going to be in here and basically I am going to drag this to the Adobe Animate like so. Uh, I don't want to change uh, any of these uh, settings, just make sure that everything is checked in here but it is going to be checked and I am going to just click import like so and uh, right now what i need to do is uh, i need to go ahead and rename my layers it's not necessary but i want to do it uh, so i'm going to skip this part i'm going to rename them rename them and i'm going to provide you this initial animate file so you do not need to rename all of the layers but you do not you can go ahead and work with illustrator and rename it uh, on on your own but uh, yeah uh, all right, so right now I have uh, renamed all of my layers and uh, what, what we need to do right now is uh, convert the, the stuff that we want to animate the symbol. Uh, so I will click on this hand and I will go to the modify convert to symbol or F8 and uh, this is going to be hand, uh, but uh, I'm not going to be renaming this symbol. So this is going to be symbol one. Uh, I will click on the on the coin and I will click F8 and this is going to be I'm going to name this because this is something that I'm going to reuse. This is going to be coin. Okay. And uh, these symbols, we are going to have them in the library. Uh, then I will maybe click on this one uh, and I can go ahead and actually uh, delete this one, this coin too, because we do not need to have two of them. Uh, I will click on this one. F8, symbol 2 is fine. I will click on the house, F8, symbol 2, symbol 3 is fine. Uh, I will click in here, F8, it's fine. On the window, F8, like so. On the fence, F8, and on the hills, F8. So basically, one more time, uh, I have converted this hand to the symbol. Uh, and you, you can see it is movie clip in here. I have converted this coin to the symbol, uh, this uh, chimney to the symbol, the house to the symbol, the door, the window, uh, this fence and these uh, hills. And maybe I can go ahead and do the same thing with the clouds. So F8 uh, and I will call this to be cloud, uh, cloud one. Uh, 
like so and this uh, maybe I can go ahead F8 and this is going to be Cloud2 uh, like so and I am renaming some of them because later on I am going to reuse some of them and I can see that here is my coin here is the cloud and here is the other cloud uh, so now what I am going to do is uh, I am going to extend the timeline for everything and I will go maybe to frame I don't know uh, 350 like so and I will click uh, at, the, at the background at the BG and I will with the shift select it like so I will right click and I am going to choose insert frame and uh, right now with this uh, background, uh, we can go ahead and click on the stage in here and uh, choose the background color like so. And uh, that means that we can go ahead and get rid of this uh, background. So I'm going to delete it like so. Or if you don't want to delete your background, you can uh, at least lock it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, I will go to the, to the house and I, I'm going to create a keyframe maybe on the frame 20 something. I will click F6 and I will go to the initial keyframe like so and uh, I will go back because I forget uh, one thing uh, and that's uh, I will go to the house I will go to the beginning to the first keyframe and I will click on it and I will hit Q or you can go with uh, free transform tool and there is this little uh, white dot which is the anchor point if I am going to try to uh, rotate my house it is going to be rotating around that and I am going to position this uh, to the bottom like so and right now my house would be rotating around that point uh, so right now I'm going to create the keyframe as I wanted to create so I'm going to click F6 and I will go to the initial keyframe and I am going to just scale this uh, like so so I'm going to do it like uh, this maybe like so and then I'm going to create classic twin so create classic twin so basically I'm going to have uh, this kind of animation of the growing uh, of the growing house and right now what I am going to do is I will go maybe in here and I'm going to create new keyframe so f6 and on this keyframe uh, I am going to make this little bit higher so uh, this keyframe is like the, the when it is small, then it is uh, this keyframe and uh, this keyframe, they are the same and they are like the original size of the house. But on this one, I am going to make this uh, bigger. So I'm going to go maybe like uh, so. Uh, then I will go in here to this keyframe and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hold Alt and drag it like uh, so. Or what you can do is basically go in here and create new keyframe. So I will click F6. And uh, right now, uh, this, is, this will go up like so. And I will go to this keyframe. And I want to position this down like uh, this little bit. And uh, then I will go to this keyframe. And uh, I am going to duplicate it. So with Alt, I am going to put it like so. And uh, this one, I will put a little bit more up like so. But right now, only a little bit. And uh, then I will go to this keyframe, I will duplicate it like so. And this one I'm going to position a little bit uh, down like so. And you can see that the space between the keyframes uh, that I have, the space in between this one, uh, then the space in between this one and uh, so on is uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. And uh, right now I'm going to select this like so. I will right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin. So basically right now we have an animation which goes from the bottom to the top like so and right now it is higher than it should be uh, then it go down it is smaller than it should be uh, then it go up it is higher than it should be then it is smaller than it should be and the last one is like the original position uh, now what we need to do is uh, create some kind of easing because right now this is going to have a linear animation and it doesn't look good. So one by one I will click on this keyframe, with shift I will click on this keyframe, uh, I'm holding uh, shift, this keyframe, this keyframe and this keyframe and I will go to the classic ease and I will go with easy in out, we have some kind of options in here. Uh, and I will go with this one and this basically means that the animation will start slowly then it will accelerate and then at the end it will go slowly so I am going to double click on this one and right now all of these keyframes should have something like this and we are going to have some kind of uh, bounce effect like this so I am going to hit Control enter and uh, we are going to have something like uh, this uh, there is a possibility that the uh, animate is going to somehow uh, mess your animation if you do something like this. Uh, in, if you are going to have this like uh, the all, all of the house move to the top or something like that, uh, try to make this uh, one more time. 
Uh, so we have something like this and right now I'm going to do the same thing for this uh, chimney. Uh, so I will hit uh, Q and I'm going to position the anchor point uh, at the bottom like so. And we are going to do the same thing. So I will go uh, in here and I'm going to create a new keyframe F6 and I will go to the initial position and I'm going to make it uh, small like so. But don't go like this because this is going to mess your animation. So maybe something like this. Uh, and uh, I am going to duplicate this uh, or I will uh, create classic twin. So we are going to have something like uh, this. Then I am going to duplicate this keyframe. So with Alt I am going to put it in here. And on this keyframe I am going to make this uh, bigger like so. Uh, then I will go to this keyframe and I will duplicate it like uh, so. I want to position it in here and uh, in here this is going to be smaller so I'm going to make it smaller uh, then I will go back to this keyframe I will duplicate it uh, in here and in here it is going to be a little bit bigger and maybe uh, in here there it is it can be like on the original position and I'm going to create a classic twin like so so we are going to have uh, something like uh, this and I'm going to position this a little bit later so with shift I'm going to select everything like so and I will go maybe in here and right now we are going to have the house which is going to be animating like so and then uh, this uh, chimney is going to come like uh, this I can hit control enter and I will see how this is going to look so we are going to have something like this this and then something like uh, this. Uh, one thing that I didn't do uh, with this is uh, I want to uh, create this easing so I'm going to with shift select it like uh, so and I'm going to go to classic ease and I'm going to choose easy in out like this and maybe I'm going to position uh, all of this little bit earlier so maybe uh, something like uh, this no, I will position it a little bit later. Uh, this depends uh, on you how you want to make this. So something uh, like this. So I will hit Ctrl Enter one more time and we will see what we are going to have. So we have something like this and then we have something like uh, this. Okay, uh, but uh, anyway, I'm going to position this uh, like so a little bit later because I don't like that uh, there is... Uh, I, I want it like so and then when it is almost ending uh, this is going to come uh, like this uh, now we are going to animate the, the hand and the, the coin so I will click on the on the hand and I am going to uh, I do not need to do this uh, but I am going to do it uh, if you want to rotate the hand later on so I will hit Q and I'm going to position the anchor point of the hand in here but uh, this is not necessary to do uh, that we do and uh, I will click uh, I will go to the hand and I'm going to get the keyframe and I'm going to position the keyframe maybe in here like so and uh, I am going to get this uh, coin uh, like this and I am also going to do the same thing uh, with the coin uh, like uh, so and uh, what I'm going to do on both of them is uh, I will go maybe to frame 160, I don't know, and I will click F6 and I will click F6 on both of them. And then I'm going to select the initial position like so. And uh, with the shift and arrow, I'm going to uh, put it like uh, so. And if I want, uh, this is not necessary, I can go ahead and uh, duplicate these two keyframes. So I'm going to hold Alt and duplicate them like so. And maybe on these two keyframes, I can go ahead and position this little bit uh, like uh, so. Uh, so basically this would mean that uh, it will go in here and then it will return back a little bit. I'm going to select it like so and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose create classic twin. Uh, so basically right now we are going to have uh, this kind of animation and I'm going to create some kind of easing on both of them. So I'm going to select these two keyframes and I'm going to choose that I want to have the same easing as before and the same thing we are going to do in here. So I'm going to uh, do it like uh, so and maybe if I want I can go ahead and move these keyframes a little bit earlier like so and the same thing I'm going to do with this one so I'm going to position them like so and I'm going to hit Control enter and I will see what we are going to have so we have something like this then we have something like uh, this and then uh, the hand is going to come uh, one of the pink that I didn't mention, if you don't like the speed of this animation, uh, what you can do is select everything like do this, uh, then it is, you are going to have this kind of arrow to the left and to the right, and you can uh, scratch it like so, 
stretch it like so to make it bigger or to make it smaller. And I could do the same thing for uh, this one maybe, so I can do the same thing like uh, so and uh, in that case uh, what I could do is I could uh, click on everything in here and I can position it like so. So basically uh, you are going to have the keyframes in the different location as I because uh, you are going to probably like uh, different things. So we have something like this and uh, uh, one thing that I am going to do is uh, on this uh, keyframe I am going to position it a little bit to the, to the right uh, so the coin is about the, the chimney. Uh, now what I am going to do is uh, on the coin layer I will go maybe in here and I will create new keyframe F6 and on this keyframe I am, go I am going to position this uh, like so and I'm going to create the uh, classic twin. So I will right click and I will choose create classic twin. And uh, right now I'm going to create some kind of easing. So I will click on this one and I will go to the classic ease. But right now I don't want to go with easy in out, but I want to go uh, with this easy in because when you have something which is going to fall, uh, it is going to start slowly and uh, with the gravity it is going to accelerate. So I'm going to go uh, with the easy in with this one. So basically it will start slowly and then it is going to accelerate like so. Uh, now I need to go ahead and create some kind of... Uh, mask for this uh, coin because I don't want it to be visible in here. So I'm going to create a new layer and I can go ahead and call this layer to be mask uh, one, for example, something like uh, this. And uh, I'm going to go to the shape tool and I will go with maybe red color. The color doesn't matter, but I want to have something which is uh, visible. Uh, and uh, on this mask layer, I am going to create uh, a shape. Uh, like uh, like this and basically this means that the coin is only going to be visible uh, where the shape is. So I can go ahead and make the make the shape until the here but we are not going to have a coin in here so it doesn't matter and uh, I am going to uh, I will right now right click on the mask one and I am going to choose uh, mask. But make sure that it is uh, one layer about the coin. So you have coin one, uh, coin one, and about that you have the mask one. And basically right now what is going to happen is that when I'm going to drop the coin like uh, so, it is going to uh, disappear uh, like this. And what I want to do is... Uh, is with this door and with this window, I want to animate them as soon as uh, as the coin is going to drop. And when I was uh, trying to like uh, do this tutorial, when I was uh, trying to make this animation, I had a little issue with this door. Uh, so we will see if we, we are going to have the issue or not. So I will go to the door in here and I am going to get the keyframe from here, like so. And I am going to uh, position it uh, maybe maybe in here like uh, so. So basically we are going to drop the coin and I will position it even more like so. And uh, I am going to uh, change the anchor point. So I will go in here, I will hit Q and I'm going to position the anchor point in here like so. And I'm going to create new keyframe. So I'm going to click F6 and I will go to the initial keyframe and I'm going to scale this uh, down like uh, so maybe. And I'm going to create classic twin, so create classic twin, so we are going to have uh, movement like so. Then I'm going to duplicate this keyframe or just basically I can go in here and uh, click F6 and I'm going to uh, scale this uh, up one more time like so. Uh, then I'm going to create a new keyframe F6 and this one I'm going to uh, scale down a little bit like so and I'm going to create classic twin and I'm going to create classic twin in here so basically this is going this will go up then it will go down and then will go up and I could go ahead and make it uh, like more bounces but I don't want to waste my time so I'm going to uh, get it like so and I'm going to uh, go with easy in out and I'm going to go with this one and I will hit control enter and we will see what we are going to have so we have something like this something like this uh, then the hand is going to come do something like this and then the door is going to come uh, as you can see the door is uh, right now positioned wrongly uh, even though in uh, in Adobe Animate it is positioned uh, correctly like so and 
I am going to be honest, I have no idea why this is happening. It's like animates sometimes behave very, very strange. There is like no reason why the why the door should be right now uh, offset it like so. At least I, I have no idea uh, what should be the reason. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, I will go uh, in here. I will go to the keyframe. I will double click on the door. And in here, I am going to position this a uh, little bit down like so. And uh, basically right now, uh, if I go in here, it uh, it should be uh, like uh, position uh, correctly. So I will see, and this is going to be like so. And right now it is like this. And it, you you can go ahead and right now maybe I can put it a little bit more up, and I will see whether it is uh, uh, going to be good or it is not going to be good. Uh, but as I said, uh, it's uh, very strange. Adobe Animate sometimes behave very strange, and I have no idea why something like that is happening. So right now I will go back to the scene one and I'm going to animate this uh, window. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this uh, keyframe and I'm going to position uh, this uh, keyframe uh, maybe in here like so. And I'm going to uh, create a new keyframe. So I'm going to click F6 and on the initial keyframe, uh, I'm going to scale this like so. So right now I want to have my uh, anchor point in the, in the middle. Uh, I'm going to create classic twin. So we are going to have something like this. Uh, then I'm going to duplicate this keyframe and on this keyframe, I'm, go I'm going to make this like uh, bigger. Uh, on the, this one, I'm going to duplicate it and uh, this one I'm going to make uh, smaller. Uh, this one I'm going to duplicate one more time and this one I'm going to make uh, bigger, uh, like, uh, like so. Let me see, I didn't even make it bigger. So one more time, I will make it, I can zoom in a little bit and make it bigger a little bit like so. And right now I'm going to create the classic twin. So I'm going to choose click it like so, and I'm going to create this uh, easing. So one by one, I'm going to select them. I will go in here and I'm going to choose easy in out and I'm going to double click on this first option. And basically right now we are going to have it like so, uh, but I want to uh, position my animation to be a little bit later. So I will click on the window uh, keyframe, the last keyframe and on the, uh, on the door last keyframe and on the window first keyframe and I'm going to move them maybe like so and basically I want this to hit in here and uh, in when it is uh, going to fall uh, to the chimney I want this to begin so maybe maybe something like uh, this and then I want to have my door to appear. So I am going to hit control enter and I, I will see what we are going to have. So we have something like this, something like this, then the hand is going to come and we are going to have something like this and something like this, fine. Uh, now what I want to do uh, is uh, I'm going to uh, animate the hand to return. So basically the, the hand is going to come in here uh, maybe in here I'm going to create keyframe on the hand F6 and uh, I will create new keyframe F6 and I'm going to animate this uh, back like so and I'm going to create classic twin so create classic twin and I'm going to create some kind of easing and I will go with the same easing as before so hand is going to go away like so and uh, I will I will go ahead and create a new layer so I'm going to click new layer and I'm going to call this layer to be coin number two like so and on this coin too I will go to the library and I'm going to get uh, the coin that's why I have named this and I'm going to position it like so and uh, I will go ahead and uh, get the keyframe from the beginning and I'm going to position it uh, I'm going to position it uh, maybe in here uh, so the hand is going here like so and uh, what we can do is we can uh, return the hand uh, back. So I will go maybe to 230 and I will click F6 in here and F6 on the hand. And I am going to uh, and I am going to select both of the layers, uh, both of the keyframes, and I'm going to position them like so. And right now I'm not going to make the effect that it will go there and then it will return because yeah, I don't want to do it now. So I'm going to create classic twin like so, and I'm going to create uh, as always the easing, at least to have some easing. So I'm going to go with this one. So we have it uh, like so, it is going to return. And uh, now 
Uh, uh, now what I want to do is uh, one more time with the, with the coin, I will go maybe in here, F6, and I'm going to put it uh, down like uh, so, and I'm going to create a classic twin, and I will have to uh, create an easing, and maybe you remember that uh, in the uh, foreign coin we have we had this easy in because uh, it will start uh, slowly and then it will accelerate so I'm going to double click in here uh, like uh, so and uh, I will have to duplicate the mask so I am I will go to the mask one I will right click and I'm going to choose duplicate layers and I'm going to position this mask copy about my coin two and I will right click and uh, it has mask checked but it is not behaving like like a mask so I will have to uncheck it and one more time and I will have to check it and uh, right now my coin 2 is going to be like so and what I'm what I can do is uh, as soon as the uh, second coin is going to come I want these uh, fans and I want these uh, heels uh, to animate so I'm going to search for them in the uh, in here so the heels are in here so I'm going to position the keyframe uh, maybe maybe a little bit more like uh, so and uh, one more time I'm going to position it in uh, here and what I'm going to do uh, with these heels I'm going to click, of th click on them uh, I will make sure that the, I have selected them, yes, and with Q I'm going to position the anchor point at the bottom like so, and I will click on the fence, and I will do the same thing, so I'm going to get the keyframe of the fence, and I'm going to position it, uh, I'm going to position it in here, and I will make sure that I will stay on the same layer, uh, on the yeah on the same layer and I am going to the same, do the same thing so Q and I'm going to position the anchor point like so and uh, now uh, the same thing as before so I'm going to go in here and click click F6 and in here F6 and I can do the same thing in here F6 F6 and in here F6 F6 and basically we can go uh, first with this fence uh, so at the beginning I want this to be like uh, small then I want this to be uh, bigger uh, then I want this to be smaller and then I want this to be at the original position and I'm going to uh, create classic uh, twin and as I said uh, there is a possibility that this is going to somehow that animate is going to mess it but uh, yeah there is like no reason no good reason at least in my opinion for uh, something like that to happen so we are going to have something like this and the same thing we are going to create for these hills so at the beginning this is going to be small like so uh, then this one is going to be bigger uh, then this one is going to be smaller and this one is going to be at the original position and I'm going to create classic twin and I'm going to create these uh, easings uh, like so easy in out and maybe I can offset it like so so maybe uh, I don't know which one I want to start uh, first I will try so I'm going to move the uh, fence a little bit uh, to the right like so and I'm going to hit control enter and I will see what I'm going to have so we have something like this then we have something like this and then we have this coin it is going to fall we are going to have the animation like so the second uh, coin and we are going to have something like uh, something like this uh, okay so let me see it one more time because uh, right now uh, everything is fine uh, but the, the, the fence uh, was a little bit offset and it is again uh, something that uh, animate uh, sometimes do uh, very weirdly like so so I will go in here and I will go to the I will go to this fence and in the animate is like it's in the good position so I have no idea why something like this is happening uh, but yeah I can go ahead and maybe position it a little bit like uh, so and uh, maybe something like this uh, can can uh, repair something like that so let me see uh, we have this and then we are going to have the second coin and uh, right now we are going to have it uh, maybe like so but right now it is uh, it is uh, offset too much so I will try to move it and maybe right now it is going to be correct uh, so once I have moved it in inside of the inside of the fence uh, it has collected it it position uh, so let me let me see one more time uh, and uh, yeah right now it is it is fine uh, so I will go back to the Adobe animate and you can see that at the end some of the things are disappearing and uh, something like that 
So what I can do is uh, I can go to this uh, uh, to this position 350. I can click and with the uh, shift I am going to select everything. So I have selected all of the frames like so, and I will right click and I am going to choose uh, remove frames like so. So right now everything is going to ends at the same time, but you can see that the house and the chimney uh, ends a little bit earlier. So I will go in here and I will click F5 or you can go ahead and right click and choose insert frame. And right now everything should uh, ends uh, at the same position. Uh, now maybe the last thing that we can uh, go ahead and do is uh, animate this uh, cloud. Uh, so I'm going to click on this uh, cloud and uh, and I will go uh, maybe maybe in here. I will click click F6, and I'm going to position it all the way to the to the right, like so. And I can do the same thing for this one. So I will go in here F6, and I'm going to position it all the way uh, like uh, so. And I'm going to create a classic twin uh, for both of them. And if I if I wanted, I could go ahead and create a new layer. Uh, which is going to be cloud three. I can go ahead and create uh, one more and this is going to be uh, cloud number three, like so. And I will go to the library and uh, while I am on the cloud three, I'm going to position one of the clouds. I can go with this one and I'm going to put it like so. Uh, so right now on the cloud three, we are going to have the keyframe in here and maybe this one can start in here like so. And uh, then I will go uh, to the end like so F6 and I'm going to position uh, this cloud uh, to be maybe in here and I'm going to position uh, these two keyframes to the end because I don't want the clouds uh, to suddenly stop at the while other things are animating and I will create classic twin for this cloud so I will hit control enter and we are going to have something like this and uh, yeah I will let uh, you see the whole animation so we have something like this, then we have the second coin and we have something like uh, this. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now I'm going to show you how you can stop this animation. Uh, so uh, I will go in here and uh, but before of that, uh, I want to show you one uh, thing because uh, we are going to uh, export this as uh, as HTML, uh, but what you could do is uh, you can go to the, I think it's in the file, uh, export, and you can uh, export this also as a GIF, so export animated GIF, like so, and uh, we have some kind of uh, uh, options in here, and it is going to be uh, processing a little bit, uh, but yeah, uh, after a few seconds, it should be processed. And uh, right now I'm going to just basically hit save and I can go to some place where I want to save this. So I will go maybe in here and I'm going to create a new folder, which is going to be GIF or GIF. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And I'm going to hit save and I will go to that place. Uh, so it is going to be in here. And if I'm going to... Okay, let me, okay, it is it is still saving, so I, I need to be a little bit patient. Uh, so I will go one more time, it is in here, and I can go ahead and open this, and I'm going to have uh, this uh, as, a, as a GIF. Uh, so you can have something like this. I'm not going to watch it one more time. Uh, but right now, uh, if we want this to make an uh, HTML5 or HTML5 banner, uh, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this layer to be code. So I'm going to write code and I'm going to right click, choose actions. I will zoom in a little bit and I can go ahead and write... Uh, I can go ahead and write a very simple code, which is going to be this dot stop. Uh, parentheses and semicolon uh, like so and uh, this is going to give me a little a and if I'm going to hit control enter nothing is going to happen because this a is going to uh, stop the animation uh, at the beginning so I'm going to position it at the end and if I'm going to position it like so this means that this animation is going to play uh, once and then it is going to stop and if you want to you, uh, loop your animation may uh, maybe four times and then stop uh, I am going to go to this website I'm going to provide you a link in the description and there is uh, this code and then later on, later on is uh, this code uh, they are uh, almost the same uh, but here is the like uh, equal equal sign 
and here is like the smaller or bigger sign so i will go with this one i am going to hit ctrl c and i am going to provide this code in the description this link and also this code uh, and i will go back to the animate and i am going to uh, go to this uh, a i will choose actions and i am going to replace this uh, code uh, with this one like so and uh, right now this number is important this means how many times this is going to be looping so if i'm going to have number three it means that this is going to loop the timeline three times and then it is going to stop uh, so maybe i can go with uh, number two like so and i'm going to hit uh, i'm going to close it like this uh, right now i'm going to save my file so i'm going to hit ctrl s and uh, i will go to the place where i want to save this so i will go in here i will go to the tutorial i'm going to create new folder that i'm going to call to be animate and i will go inside of that animate and i'm going to call this to be house like so and i'm going to hit save and right now i will show you uh, something so i will go uh, in here to this uh, animate uh, folder and i'm going to have my animate file and some recovery animate file uh, and when i'm going to hit ctrl enter uh, to see this uh, in the browser uh, what is going to happen is uh, it is automatically going to uh, publish me this uh, to the to this place so right now i'm going to have this javascript html and images and i don't want to have them in here so i'm going to uh, get rid of them like so and i will go to the adobe animate i will go to the file i, I will go to the publish settings and uh, I will click this folder and I am going to get uh, to the location where I have my animate file. So I have it in here and here I will create a new folder which I am going to call index. It's not necessary but I am used to uh, call this index and like so. So the, the file also I'm going to call index. I will hit save and I will hit OK. I will hit file and I will hit publish and uh, I'm going to have the index like so and in here I am going to have some JavaScript, some HTML and some images and these images are going to be in uh, one PNG file like uh, so. And if we want this to work in Google Ads, we need to go to the file, uh, publish settings and uh, in here, uncheck these hosted libraries. I will hit OK and I will hit file and I will hit publish. And this is basically going to give me uh, one additional uh, file, uh, these libraries. And uh, right now, if we want this to work in Google Ads, we need to go ahead and add a little bit of the code to our HTML. So I'm going to also provide you this in the description, but basically we have uh, something like this. And I'm going to copy this and I will go to the place where I have this and I will right click on my index HTML and I'm going to open this with brackets and as always uh, you can uh, open this with notepad, atom, sublime text, uh, they are all uh, text editor for the code but basically you need to have in your computer uh, something which will allow you to open the code and this bracket is free also sublime text is free atom is free uh, you should have notepad uh, so yeah you need to somehow open the code and uh, it is going to open the code like this and we are going to have this html this head this uh, first meta information second meta information and then we have this title and between this uh, second meta and this title i am going to paste it like so and uh, the size that i have 800 by 800 of course doesn't is not supported by google ads uh, google ads are usually the smaller size like this 300 by 250 or 300 by 600 uh, but what you would do is uh, write the size of the banner so right now i am going to type 800 uh, by 800 but as i said this is not the size which is supported by google ads uh, like so and i am going to save this and i am going to close this and uh, i am going to go uh, where i have my index i am going to right click uh, and i am going to choose send to i have this in spanish because i'm not learning spanish but it doesn't matter and i am going to send send it as a zip file and it is going to give me a zip file like so which needs to be smaller than 150 kilobytes uh, right now it is 110 so it's fine but if you would have a problem with this size maybe what you can do is in this index in these images you have this as a png and there is uh, this uh, website i can uh, maybe show you 
uh, which is called uh, tiny png and basically uh, this allows you to put the png file in here and it is going to make you the png file, uh, file smaller without losing quality and you would uh, replace the uh, the png the new png uh, you would replace this old png with the new png with the same name and uh, like that you you could uh, reduce the the size uh, so yeah uh, this is it. This is all of the tutorial. Uh, probably this is going to be a long tutorial. And as I said, uh, what we had with the door, that it was a little bit offset and also with the fence, something like that can happen. Maybe try to go inside of that uh, inside of that vector and move it and then uh, try to test it one more time i don't know animates sometimes behave weirdly and there's nothing that i can do about it so thank you very much for your time if you like this video hit the like if anyone has uh, had watched until the end uh, let me know in the comments so basically i would like to know if someone watched until the end and yeah uh, one more time thank you and i hope that you have learned something take care goodbye